Hi, my name is Robert Brock and this is the first edition of KDAD News, the new monthly update for professionals working with Qt, C++ and 3D technologies. Now our topics today are Qt 6 looming in 2020, Qt 5.14 release highlights, Qt for MCU 1.0, what was new at Qt World Summit, Qt Marketplace has been started, KDAB turned 20 years, KDAB Developer Challenge, and some announcements. During the recent Qt World Summit in Berlin, Qt Chief Maintainer Lars Noll announced Qt 6 for the end of 2020. Though it was emphasized to keep Qt 6 compatible with previous versions, there are going to be some changes and new requirements. Most importantly, the build system for Qt 6 will be CMake instead of QMake, and C17 will be required as a minimum standard. This means that if you are planning to update to Qt 6 at some point, you might want to start familiarizing yourself with these standards. We will provide you with more technical details on Qt 6 in our coming KDAB News editions. Also, there will be a video series on this channel later in 2020 in order to help prepare you for Qt 6. Recently, Qt Company released Qt 5.14 with a ton of new features and a few new modules. Just to highlight a few, a tech preview for Qt Quick 3D uh, was added, a high-level API for creating 3D content for user interfaces from Qt Quick. Also, there is a first preview of the Graphics API Independent Scene Graph Renderer as an opt-in feature. This allows running qualifying Qt Quick applications on top of Vulkan, Metal, or Direct3D 11 instead of only OpenGL. Further, it has become way easier to create C++-based QML singletons, which seems an important step in getting ready for QML3. Last but not least, high DPI support was updated and improved considerably, which is much welcomed, especially by Windows users. Also, just a few days ago, Qt for MCU was released. It is a complete graphics toolkit with everything needed to design, develop and deploy GUIs on microcontrollers. It comes with the new QML rendering engine, Qt Quick Ultralight, QUL for short, that allows applications to run on bare metal or on a real-time operating system. And within the internal memory of an MCU. As already mentioned in early November, the Qt World Summit took place in Berlin. Here's a quick review of some of the highlights. The agenda was packed with very interesting keynotes and technical talks. Among others, there were presentations by Google, LG, the Croatian automotive company Rimac, and Berlin startup Unu Motors, whose CEO, Mathieu Kodal, presented their new Qt-based UI for their latest generation of electric scooters. Also, there was a wealth of in-depth presentations by experts from the Qt company, KDAB, FrogLogic, and other partners of the event. Topics ranged across the Qt ecosystem like Qt for Android, Qt for MCUs, and optimizing Qt Quick 2 applications, to name a few. You can find all talks online following the link provided. For those of you who have been waiting for a place where you can find useful software for the Qt ecosystem, we have some good news. A few weeks ago, Qt launched its own marketplace for plugins, libraries, tools, and many other extensions for Qt, like Quasar 3D Runtime, and Gamma Ray, our super popular introspection tool for Qt. They'll all be coming to the marketplace soon. Last but not least, KDAB, as one of the earliest contributors to Qt, celebrated its 20th anniversary with the Qt community at Qt World Summit in Berlin. We took our guests to a journey through time. The old school analog foosball tables found as many fans as the most recent VR games. And beer was being served by our directors. 
on that occasion, we also kicked off our 20 Years Developer Challenge, where you can win a cool home brewing kit or one of two remarkable tablets. The challenge is open until the 31st of December. Maybe a nice little activity for the holidays. Check out the details in the link below the video. Finally, a few upcoming dates for 2020. In February 2020, the Embedded World will take place in Nuremberg, Germany. As every year, KDAB will be present at the Qt booth. In case you haven't noticed it already, QWS 2020 will take place in May in Palm Springs, USA. And unfortunately, it looks like there won't be a Qt World Summit in Berlin next year. We'll provide you with more details in our next edition. I hope you enjoyed the first edition of KDAB News. Let us know what you liked and what kind of news you would like to see here in future. Any feedback is always welcome. Thank you and see you next time.